If you click on this one after me, I'm not sorry. Oh, wait, I should do an intro, right? Give me a second. Oh, man. Get that dick and go. Hey, guys. How are you? Great. That's. Hey guys, hey guys, how are you? Hey guys, guys, how are you? Uh, great. Awesome. Y'all remember that? I gave you guys something serious-ish. Now I'm about to give you guys something stupid. Uh -huh. So I'm weird. I'm a weirdo. I'm weird. Like, have, have you ever seen me without, without this hat? hat? Like, that's, that's weird. weird. We all have moments in our life where we just like put things on our phone and like forget that they're there. And we come across it one day and we're like, what? Well, that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna show you guys what is on my, my phone. phone. Cause the curse of smartphones is that it holds and remembers everything if you don't delete. Even if you delete something, it remembers the shit. So we're gonna just go through my past three phones. Home. From high school to now, and we're going to just reminisce on the dumbassery that I did. I personally don't think I have that much to hide, but at the same time, we might find out I have a lot to fucking hide at the end of this video. Get that dick and welcome to my cell phone haul. Get that dick and go, and don't call that nigga no more. Start with my notes. I'll just like remember something or have an idea, and I'll put it in my notes, and I'll totally forget that I put it in my notes. So there might be some bullshit in here. I don't know. Wow. Mm. So the first thing I see is a note with a bunch of numbers. Don't know what these numbers mean. Don't know why I have these numbers written down. Why are there commas? And why are they all underlined in yellow? I don't know, sis. And then right underneath there is rose quartz. What? August 4th, 2017. Why the hell was I writing rose quartz? Do I look like that bitch that has a rose quartz? Don't answer that question. <laughs> Overall, comedy. Okay, sis. Oh no. November 23rd, 2017. Apparently I got high. Get that dick. Don't do drugs, kid. Unless it's legal in your state. Then like- Once in a while, you know, why not? Have a little blast. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hello, this is High Mac Ideas. Take one. Jesus Christ. So I had an idea of this musical called Three Corners, where focus on a love triangle between a photographer, a barista, and an actor. What? Both the photographer and barista were aspiring actors or trying to be actors, but can't make it into the acting business, and both have developed a very fine relationship with each other. Both the wrist and the photographer find out they are in love with the same person, and then yada, 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 bunch of stuff happens. Yeah, I have this idea, you know, it's great, it's wonderful, then yada, 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 some music, blah, blah, blah. And for some reason, the barista and the photographer find a way to both convince to themselves they are not in love with the actor, but the more love in what the actor is rather than who he is. What? Jesus Christ. Can you put a period? And then I put in parentheses, they are in love with their dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Which then causes them to abandon the actor pretty much a fart like to start try to lift it with each other within the actor was about in this love triangle get mad and upset that out the three possible relationships Yes, no, I'm not making any sense either guys He ends up alone so he makes the evil plan or something because he a petty ass bit and ends up practically destroying the lives of both the photographer and the barista not really just trying to live my embarrassing, maybe like poses, a video of embarrassing, I said, and they said out the of line, like end up getting them fired. <laughs> fired. What is this? Fired from their job. Our people never want to hire them. Yada, yada, yada. Double restart to end up killing himself. And yada, yada, yada. Drama, drama, drama. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Am I okay? Hey. Moral of the story, hi Mac, you ain't shit, okay? There's more. And then a few years later, the photographer and the actor both married different people in their foretold. R4 is now a paparazzi guy and ends up catching the actor who's been closet Arizona years of doing something very homosexual. The big finale is he going to turn this picture and then ruin the man's life for ruining his life. And then at the end, he ends up being the bigger person and tossing R are deleting the picture and yeah and big finale song boom boom love crying at the alibi that is the video itself honestly do i have to go on final song boom 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 love crying at the alibi period i can't seem to place one but period bottoming for simba featuring big fat pussy and herb viagra Dick. Let's move on to Y'all wanna see my Y'all wanna see what I have? I'm mainly doing this video to show you how much of a messy ass person I am with my phone. So I have an app for Skull Candy. 
I don't own any skull candies. Look at all these organization apps. Ooh, ooh, ah, look at this travel app. It looks like a normal travel app. But then you scroll to the last page and we're horny on the main. Oh, man, Get that dick and go. Go and don't cow that nigga. Respect your sex workers, kid. Oh, y'all got nothing to hide anymore. I also have this 7-Eleven delivery app. The gag of this is I live a block away from a 7-Eleven. I'm just a lazy ass motherfucker. <laughs> to top that up, we got Domino's. <laughs> and then of course, CoStar. Everybody got CoStar. My CoStar today says. Hello? 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 Never mind. My CoStar doesn't want to tell me shit. App said, bitch, you dead. The stars don't know you. I also have an app called W Bear. It's like a social media app for gay bear that I have not used yet. I downloaded it like a month ago and it's just been sitting there. I haven't even opened the bitch. I don't even know if I'm a bear. Someone called me a cub once and I just like went with it. Someone also tickled my stomach once. That what like bears do? I went to Folsom mm -hmm. a few years ago and someone full ass walked up to me and tickled my stomach. And I have never forgotten that moment in my life. <laughs> I also have an AR game. Y'all remember AR? Y'all remember when they were Hyping the shit out of on the iPhone, being like, Ooh, AR! Bro, you can play this game on moving your phone and your camera. Oh, shit! AR! Oh! And then, like, no one gave a shit about it afterwards. So I got a game. Never played it. Flip. Okay, moving on from this phone. We're gonna go to the next one. I am excited, bitch. I'm excited because past Mac was a thought. I wasn't taking news. I was afraid of that shit. I don't want to get caught. I don't want to get leaked. I do take some sultry photos from time to time because a bitch feels himself. Because a bitch think he cute. I didn't take any news, honey. But I got them. Yeah, my home screen. That is a picture of me and Mike on my 21st birthday. He's grabbing my boob. And I'm having a great time. Pass Mac notes. There's not really that many notes except for this one. And it's just like a list of YouTubers for some reason. I don't know. February 3rd, 2017. I listed a bunch of YouTubers on notes. Don't know for what reason. Don't know what I was trying to do. But they're here. I also have a note from April 23rd, 2016. Let me map this. Hashtag the thirst. Hashtag the thirst continues. Hashtag the thirst trilogy. Hashtag the thirst. Thirst Book of the Fourth, Hashtag The Thirst Return, Hashtag Revenge of The Thirst, Thirst Forever After, Man Before The Thirst, The Thirst World Domination, The Thirst So The Drama, The Hunting Of The Thirst, Death Of The Thirst, The Haunting Of The Thirst, and The Thirst Reborn. What? Oh, there it is. There it is. There it goes. That's it. Oh no. That photo vault. That photo vault. Not gonna open the vault, but it's there. There are things in there that y'all don't need to see, but y'all can already guess what it is, bitch. <laughs> it's not my news. It's not my news. I did not take news. It's other people's. <laughs> Not that I was like collecting other people's news. I didn't mean to. That sounds so weird. Okay, let's rewind. Before I get exposed to the cancer. I didn't send news. But other guys sent them to me. Because I guess that's what guys do. That's how the gays communicate. But whenever a guy sent me a news, I would literally delete it from the chat and put it in a locked photo vault. Because I was scared, you know, starting YouTube. I was hearing about like hackings and all that shit. I really didn't want these guys' photos being exposed all over the internet. Because when I tell you, I literally think of the worst case scenario in every situation. I literally think of the worst case scenario in every Every situation, bitch, this is excessive. The only way you can get into this locked photo vault is with my goddamn fingerprint. Try again. It's locked. It's locked, locked, bitch. Y'all can't get that. <laughs> Are there nudes in this? Wait a minute. Oh, it's literally empty. So what I said was a lie. <laughs> I guess I deleted them at one point. Thank Jesus Christ, you fucking thought. Blit. Fucking thickety thought thought. Fucking thuddy thought 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 just saw a dick. Here we go, 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 here we go. First photo on my phone is me with a giant sty in my eye. Jesus Christ, Lord have mercy, Jesus almighty, holy shit, <laughs> and with a cracked lip. This was out there. This was getting into it. Looks like I got in a fight. I didn't. I just scratched my eyelid. Whenever I felt really stressed, my eyelids would literally just start swell. Like for no reason. Like it was just like, you know what I mean? Ooh. And this is my picture on Grinder when I had it for those couple of months. Never hooked up with anybody from Grinder. Never did. Literally was just called the N-word. I'm not even joking. In my dirty ass mirror. Looking skinty as hell. 
know. And then me and my family. Worry in the house. Nothing terrible in my eyes. I mean, in your eyes, you're probably like, what the fuck, man? What the hell is that? What is that? What is that? <laughs> what? Why is that on my phone? Who is that? Here's a gift of a show I did that got canceled right after my episode. Here's a picture of a flesh jack for some reason. I didn't even buy this. Don't know why I have it saved. My thought ass said maybe, but my broke ass said nope. And here's a picture of me as Lord. I think we're good now. I think it's time to move on to the pièce de résistance. My high school cell phone. <laughs> Host. That is currently dead right now and I do not have a charger for so I did order a charger for it If it comes in time, I'll put in the clip of me looking at my phone right now Hello Sorry if I look greasy, I just woke up, but it came This phone is charged I'm not taking it off the wire This phone dies in like 20 minutes Cause throughout high school, I was the type of bitch that would charge my phone overnight Little did I know, that literally kills the shit And now it can't survive without being connected <laughs> Look how tiny! Oh, oh yeah. look how small it is! I survived years with this. I can't even imagine today. That's how spoiled I am. I also want to clear something up real quick. I just edited the majority of this video before I filmed this, and I just want to add some corrections. <laughs> hey, sis, I was not racking up news left and right. Let's get that out of people's minds. Do you see me? Do you think I was a bitch that was, like, collecting millions of nudes? No. I had, like, a couple. And not from guys I just met. Like, guys I was, like, talking to for, like, a handful of time. And I also just remember what else I used to do with that private album. Back in the day, my data plan used to be so small. And I also lived in a apartment that had a lot of constant blackout. I primarily think it was because they were doing secret government testing in all of those aerospace buildings I used to live around. And it would cause the power in our entire neighborhoods to go out. And because I had so little data, I would try to sell my data as much as I can. So what my ass used to do as a little backup, just in case the little power Wi-Fi went out in the middle of my lonely moments, I would literally take Tumblr porn, porn pictures from Tumblr, save them, and then put them into that private album. I was lonely. We had to do something. We had to improvise. It was a fail-safe system for my horniness. I wasn't a thought. I was just... Sad. I had this phone beginning of junior year until spring break of my first year in college. Five years ago now. And I have not touched it ever since. So I don't know what the hell is gonna happen. Oh wow. First off, my home screen. You might think, oh, that's a nice photo you took, Matt. No, the photo I just took from Tumblr. Let's open this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, wait, let me explain. Bitch, there's fucking vine on this. Vine on this. Vine on this. Vine. 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 Y'all remember that shit? Y'all remember that chaos? Now, Kitty, before the TikTok, before the Musical.ly, there was this app called Vine. I don't know if you heard about it. I don't know if anyone's really been talking about it and how much they've missed it for the past, like, five years. Even though it's not really that much to miss in the first place now that we think about it. We just mostly missed the time period of when we felt innocent and didn't have that many responsibilities. All we could do was scroll Vine and not pay taxes. Not paying taxes, just scrolling Vine. Not giving a shit about the government, just scrolling Vine. <laughs> Does it still work? Oh my god! <laughs> Guys, it still works. It's still here. And it's counting loops too, bitch. There is no Wi Fi connection or cellular connection. So I think what happened was this phone is now frozen in time from the last time it was you. 2015. I may be one of the last people that have Vine on a cell phone. I should sell this for millions. Oh my god. It's still here. Like, oh my god! He still uses Vine. He might be a hipster. I'm really, really into the vintage stuff nowadays. I still use Vine. The loops are literally still counting up. What the fuck? This app doesn't exist anymore. If I clicked on someone's profile, would it go to it? Dick. Nope, okay, never mind. Here, I want to give you guys a few seconds to reminisce on the Vine days. <laughs> Y'all remember doing this? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> After you reach like the fifth vine, it's a bunch of blank screens now. God damn it. What does my Tinder look like? Wait a second. Oh my God. Oh my God. As you can see now, apparently I am negative 26. This is my first like official Tinder profile. Me and my friends when I was high school. There goes me thotting it out. Look at that nipple. Look at that nipple. Look at that nipple. My phone automatically puts penis in all caps. You're welcome.
I thought I was the funniest bitch out there. LA. Chapman University. Suffer of resting bitch face. True. Photography lover. Black, but I think that's quite obvious. Oh my God. Harmless. If you were wondering, you know, because of the black thing. Jesus Christ. And also put former thespian. I did theater for a few years and a bitch tried to act like he was somebody. A professional hot mess. Born and raised in LA. Just trying to find cool people to talk to. Okay, Mac, you were just trying to find some dick to suck. You want a man to love you. You want a man to make you feel special. With my virgin ass. I was matching with people. I would show you, but I don't want to show people's faces. I was matching with people, but was never messaging them. So I matched and then didn't mess. I wanted some dick, but I was not ready to talk to people for that dick. You know what I mean? And now I'm an ass man. Did y'all need to know that? Literally the conversation I had were like, hey, what's up? Nothing much, just waking up you? And then no reply afterwards. And I said hello again, and then he said hey. And I said how are you, and then no reply. That was my Tinder game. That's how you do it, kids. Facebook doesn't work, Messenger doesn't work, or Yik Yak doesn't work. I'm still shocked that Vine was still turning on. What about Twitter? Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> It still has the original photo of my Twitter profile. Look at that. I went through a period of time where I wasn't using my face on any of my social media. I was just using a cartoon version. And my bio is, my phone automatically puts penis, twerk, and Disneyland in all caps. I was really about that joke. Apparently I believe that joke gave me a personality. 830 followers too. Wow. I'm so famous. <laughs> and the tweets are still loading. Old Twitter format. Let's reminisce. So it's 2015 and you're scrolling through Twitter. <laughs> Y'all fulfilled yet? Instagram, bitch. Even the original Instagram tile. Look at that. Does it work? Oh my god. Two thousand three hundred and fifty-nine weeks ago. Holy shit! The cartoon face again, bitch. I wasn't letting anybody see me at all. Mac does it. He a mystery. I was not telling people that penis comes in all caps in this format. Y'all want some reminiscence scrolling on this one too? <laughs> Is that Mike? Look at the fucking Uber app. Y'all remember when Uber used to look like that? Neither do I. Uh -oh. Let me look at my note. I don't have much. On November 3rd, 2014, I have a note that just says grocery. And then there's a note that says Miranda sings and oh, oh. <laughs> Y'all remember back in the day when I used to do those how to be a YouTuber series? I used to write down my entire list on my notes before I filmed my videos. I also have one of GA. I think it's Grace Helbig. How to be Ellen. And a list of video ideas. 2015 lineup. How to Miranda sing. Coming out story. How how to Ellen. How to get a girl to like you. Jesus Christ. How to Connor Franta. Tag video. Cook something. How to One Direction. I think I low-key got up to cook, cook something and then stop. Coming out story. Dead ass. that was the first time I ever talked about my sexuality on my YouTube channel. I know that's really hard for people to imagine, but there was a point in time where this boy did not scream that he was gay on camera once. Like, Jesus Christ. Who? Take us back to those times, because we miss it. What a great time to be nostalgic when shit is going wild in the present. Should I look at the photos? Of course we're going to look at the photos. Photos. Oh my god. There's photos of my huskies when they were puppies. Oh my god. Yes, look at this. Wow. They shot everywhere. Someone made me this and I dead ass debate if I wanted to make it my profile picture. Then I remember I decided not to because I thought it was too adult. Yeah. There's not that many photos on here. And there's not even any videos on here. The only video I have is of Woody Allen shouting me out. Shut and I didn't even listen to his music. Oh yeah, I remember. My phone literally like dead ass broke. The power button doesn't work. The home button barely works sometimes. And I remember when I was updating the phone, the phone got stuck on the update. And so I had to like roll back the update of the phone. And when I did that, it factory reset the entire phone. I lost all of my photos and all of my videos, except for the small handful I saved on my computer at the time. So literally my entire high school past is gone. She don't exist anymore. She a mystery. Now back to past Mac. And that's that. I would show you my ultimate thoughtness, but this channel pays my rent. It's lit. What did we learn today, kids? Um, don't trust my thought ass. Get that dick and go. I just wanted to have a calm, chiller video where I'm not screaming into your faces about racism. Shout out to a lot of you guys retweeting my last video on Twitter. And specifically at J Eros and at Hard Captor Henry. Comment down below. What weird things you have in your notes. Honestly, that probably is what made the entirety of this video. Yada, 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 love, love, boom, boom, boom. The end. <laughs> last week, guys, got what you think of the entire video. And situation of YouTubers apologizing for being racist. And that was primarily just to start the conversation on my comment system, but I do want to shout out one comment someone said. Why is nobody talking about how glowy Max skin is looking? He's so cute. 
A bitch got a skincare routine now. Someone else said, I shouldn't be laughing at the fact Mac is whispering the word racism, but here we are. Here we are. But anyways, my name is Mac, and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, babe. Whoa! Get that dick and go. Get it. 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 You better get it. Get that dick. 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 Get that d